Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel where as always, the hair might be fake but the reviews aren't and neither are my opinions. Today we're going over Frank Cooper's Honey Badger mod. Let's get right into it. Let's go over the design of a blaster. It looks like an AR-15 slash uh, Honey Badger. It does look very milsig like on the paint job, which was done with a black vinyl dye primer, a gray automotive base, and then you have little purple details on strife, a few markings down here, magwell, and then that purple thumb, uh, thumb screw. And it looks very clean, very nice looking, and it matches all very well. Let's move right on into the ergonomics of this blaster. The ergonomics on this blaster feels kind of like a gun so to speak the strife grip is normal up here you have a worker vertical foregrip um, and it just gives it a very tactile feel to the blaster very nice hold on it the stock right here is like the worker lightweight stock but this one is adjustable it can move in all the way like a pdw stock and it can move out as far as that you can remove this but there really is no point to doing that and this stock is set in with a set screw right in here. So you do have to unscrew this if you want to open up the blaster. Off the kit on here, which just doesn't add anything besides pick rail on the top, on both sides, and on the bottom. This does replace the front attachment hub from the stripe though, so do take that into mind when you go to install a kit like this. On to the functionality. How does this blaster function? Well, it's the same as a strife, you know? Same mechanical pusher is a semi-automatic blaster and it takes full length nerf darts. These are X-Shot darts and it's running off of a 2S LiPo battery. So you can do that with no issues and it's not gonna, it's not like IMRs where you have a kind of the motors just going up and down randomly because you're either shooting too fast or the motors are being put under so much stress they just can't. This you can actually finger bane and have no issues doing. Uh, the internals of this blaster are a stock strife cage with fan revamp motors, running cyclone wheels with 16 gauge wire wiring, a 21 amp Omron switch, and a expanded uh, battery door, expanded wire channel. And this blaster is just built very well. Let's get right on into the firing demo. Shooting X shot darts at the. I'm not even going to try anymore. Corner finger bend. So now on to my final thoughts and opinions on the blaster. Well, first off, I put up on a chronograph and I got 119 feet per second average. And this blaster is shooting pretty tight groupings when your red dot's actually zeroed. I didn't properly zero my red dot, guys. So it's not dialed into that target, but it does shoot some fairly tight groupings. Uh, even finger bending, I was able to get a grouping that was pretty tight and it's kind of hilarious looking at it. So, uh, first off, I want to make this clear again, do not take a blaster like this, even if it's painted a bright color, outside in public, it can be dangerous, I use this on closed fields only, I have taken this out on private property, but still, it's not worth having to potentially get shot or killed over, it just, it puts you in danger, especially with a color scheme this dark, that's why, you know, use it on closed fields only. But regardless of that, the performance is great, the blaster shoots really well, and I have no complaints with this blaster at all. And that's why it's kind of stuck into my collection for, uh, you know, closed field games, because it's a lot of fun to shoot, and I enjoy shooting full length darts still. The mag is just a worker P mag. It looks like a knockoff Magpul P mag. Um, but it really does make this blaster fit the, the feel of a of an AR slash honey badger and it's really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this video, uh, please consider subscribing. It's free. You guys can always change your mind and unsubscribe later, but if you know, subscribe, why not? Uh, remember guys, as always, the hair might be fake, but the reviews aren't and neither are my opinions. Stay safe. God bless. Phase out.